today I'm not in well I am installing but uh, I'm working on a sundown and an 1800.1 kickers uh, so the customer previously had the uh, uh, 4 gauge wire for the 1800.1 you cannot use 4 gauge on a 1800.1 because that's a 3600 watts and you're gonna have to use a odd gauge wire and uh, the speaker wire looks okay so I'm not gonna touch that so I'm gonna rewire it I'm gonna basically do the same as the previous one for the jacks I'm gonna show you where to hook it up to and then the ground I definitely gonna make some good grounding on this let me see what they had on the ground yes the ground right here Ooh. Uh, yes, I'm gonna redo the ground. I'm gonna use a different kind of uh, ground because it's a uh, thick wire I had to get a good good ground. So this is still good. Nothing wrong with it. It's just that You cannot really use a, a full gauge. So I'm gonna remove all of this part right there And this just pry it up right there. You can literally pull it out easy right there, but not not that easy so I'm just pry that out and I will run it over there to the battery. So the uh, previous one they have is the uh, SNI35 that will work. So the positive is dark blue, which is hooking up to the uh, the solid color, which is white and gray. And then the light green is the negative, which is gray black and white black. You just tap them together like that, and then run the RCA jack. And he got the remote on uh, on top of the 47. I'm not sure exactly what that is. That could be, uh, yeah, you can see it right there. But uh, always make sure there's no wire touching like this. You see how this wire is touching? Oh, I don't know where I'm at. Oh, camera's right here. Uh, always, I'm going to remove that and, and kind of fix that up a little bit so it won't touch anything else. So if there's a short, it's going to short all of them. So I'm going to trim that out right there. And uh, for the power wire, you can run, run it right there. Let me see how that works. Uh, it's a big hole right here. So I'm going to try to fix that up a little bit and run the uh, odd gauge wire. So this M is a bigger box, so when the base hit, it can uh, damage this thing because of the vibration. As you can see right there, there's a metal right there, and it's coming down like this, the vibration. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to push this box back forward a little bit. I'm going to put the uh, bracket behind here, so that way it won't move. And we'll put the M right here. Usually, what I usually do on this type, I... Uh, on most of my install, I put right here on the seat right there. This is the best place to put is on the seat because you put it over there, the vibration's gonna kill it. So I'm gonna start cutting wire so I can remove some of this thing. I'm gonna remove the power wire, the rest of them I'm gonna keep. So here I'm gonna try to show, some people might not know it. Oh, actually close it. So I basically is gonna kind of put it right here Put your finger right here and then close it back. So when I close it back, see how it looks shorter right here? But when it comes to here, it's longer. So I basically pull that seat back down. I'm not going to do it right now. But I can't. I got to go up back to pull the lever. 
so right here so it came back about this way right here when you put it down so I'm gonna put the amp right here screw it on and most people just start right away and think it like oh I'm gonna put it right here and then when you start shutting down or close it uh, it's, it's gonna hit this and then you have to remove it and do all that stuff again so and then your ground might be wrong so I'm gonna screw it all here screw that I'm using I'm using a 3.8 so 3.8 regular drywall screw or screw it should works so now it's nice and tight and always double check you always want to double check it to make sure nothing hit it see right here see I got it it's closed so and it doesn't hit the top sometimes you want to make sure all that are good that way your ground and everything are good to go I'm gonna start cutting wire and run the power wire back over here for the back seat in order for me to pry this I should kind of pre-pry a little bit because I'm using one hand you just pry it all out like that so now you cannot pull this out right so you're gonna have to lift this thing up uh, there might be a lever or something like that let me see oh shit it's upside down so right here the back the, the seat right there what you want to do you want to reach your hand in there and pull this out like this it took me trust me it took me about five minutes to figure it out because I can't look I couldn't see it uh, move your front seat forward all the way forward and then pull this thing out it should come out the same side as that one too so I'm just doing one side right now because I don't need to and then I'll pry this out so I can run the power right back I guess the previous guy what they did they didn't do what I did they just run the wire right here and go there but yeah just pry this thing out once you get the seat out see it's a little bit tricky though if it's smaller than a four gauge I would uh, just pull this thing out and and run the wire right there but it's easier to just to pry the whole thing out like this just take a flat head and uh, keep moving it forward like this and pull it out gently because you can break this I'm gonna have to use two hand but that's how you do it it's just clips but just be careful this will break easy if you want to look at it there's one right there there's a clip right there and uh, this piece right there when you push it down it should come out right here I just found out how to use my camera I got an S22 and I didn't know I had to I keep go and press the button to uh, open the uh, apps and stuff like that so uh, right now I'm uh, having the uh, 4 gauge uh, the odd gauge I keep saying 4 gauge today I don't know what's going on with me must be early morning it's about uh, 11 something o'clock right here removing this right there this is uh, made by Raptor it's the uh, copper clad aluminum uh, a little bit cheaper than uh, OFC auction free cable wire uh, you know, those are really expensive so you don't really need it that bad so I'm going to uh, take it out. Not so easy when you deal with an odd gauge wire, I tell you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I always say that what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna trim it out like this much so I can grab the wire, hook the wire to the old wire that they, existing wire that they had that way I don't have to push it so here's the old wire they have right here uh, move the camera back here a little bit do the same thing over here we'll make it longer because this is a 4 gauge easier to Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to tie right this, don't have to be nothing crazy, just tape it really good, make sure you have a, a, a show what I'm trying to tell you, just tape it really good, and then now you can just go out front and pull, this is if you do by yourself, you have two people, well you still have to do it like that, so I'm going to go up front, 
and start pulling the wire. Hopefully, I can get it out here. Got it. So I got my wire out here. Make sure I have enough. So now, I'm going to run this wire back. Got to under, get underneath the uh, seat belt. So, running the wire about right there. Cut it. All right, here I'm gonna run the power wire. I ran the power long enough so in case the customer need an extra battery, they can because if I run it too short and then uh, if you need a battery done, it's gonna be tough. I don't want to attach anything. So I'm gonna cut about three, uh, let me see, kind of measure right here. So you don't wanna stick it out too much. So you wanna at least right here, I got about uh, three quarter of an inch. Do it like that, or you can use a knife. So, I'm gonna twist it together, get a good, put it on the battery side. And move this all the way, almost all the way out, so you can stick it in. See, right there, it's gonna go right in. And that's what it made for. It's an odd gauge. Can't use anything uh, smaller than. I mean, did I block it? Okay, so make sure you hit the copper now. It said copper aluminum clad, so. Now, I'm gonna do the ground. So, uh, at here, I'm gonna do uh, use the uh, hydraulic crimping tools. If you don't have a hydraulic crimping tool, you can use the uh, hammer and hit it down, but I don't like to do that since I got the tool already. I'm just snuck it in here. Ooh, it's pretty tight for this model. Might have to use something bigger. Once I got it tight enough, I'm gonna make sure it's not gonna come out. Now this is gonna be very interesting. Some of you might not see what I usually do a lot of it. I only do with something big, an end that is bigger than normal size. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this brush right here and then brush the ground. We're we'll sand the ground out. I'm gonna do it somewhere right around here somewhere. It's pretty metal, it's pretty good, so... Well, actually, I, I used it wrong. I gotta use this metal... Uh-oh, hope I don't lose it. Right here, right there, I'm gonna start off with this. I'm gonna grab the camera and put it... see right here let me see that right there oh. dawn camera yep right there I'm gonna put it close to this out of metal right here Ugh. got that going 
Now I'm gonna use this brush. I'm gonna stop brushing it. The re see this on the brush right here? It's got that piece right there go into the holes. And uh, I don't have to do much work. And then now I'm gonna you I'm gonna use this uh, anti-corrosion gel. Blow it out a little bit. I'll be honest with you, it's it's just a little bit better than the last ground that you've seen. That's all. And now I'm gonna use this. Uh, Oh, whatever you call that piece uh, it's called the uh, uh, lock washer yeah it's a called lock washer right here and then this is the nuts right here a bolt why do I call nuts nuts and bolt bolt that's a bolt okay so I'm gonna put it in like so, I'm gonna put stick the uh, I know why because I went a little bit too deep with this piece right there right here and now I'm gonna brush it again I wish there's a better metal frame around here that's better too much over here to move Good one right there. Try it one more time. Let's see anti corrosion I have. While you are screwing this in, you want to push one of your hand and then hold the right hand or left hand, however you want to use it, push that in and then tighten it just like so. So you don't have the uh, wire sticking out, the copper wire. And then you got the positive and negative. This is a mono block, so he ran in, I guess, a series parallel to this one, I, I believe. So. I don't know how many ohm it is, but it's already hooked up. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna call it a day. I'm gonna zip tie this and screw it down so it won't move anywhere else. Get the jack over this way right here. Here's the uh, <clears throat> battery part where I ran the uh, power wire and then I got the uh, zero gauge right here with the big fuse holder made by Raptor right here. Tighten this down and I make sure there's no metal around it so there's nothing copper sticking out anything like that and then I kind of bend this a little bit because it cannot stick out like this it might touch the hood and then I kind of bend it while bending it I put the uh, <clears throat> 10 millimeter and hold it and kind of not you know because sometimes when you bend you can break this uh, terminal also so be careful with that the good thing about it is not shutting down so it sounds good right now 